yo yo what's good youtube this is angry you and today i got a new video for you guys and basically today we're gonna be talking about capabilities all right and in terms of capabilities in the previous video we have already talked about the capabilities in to some extent so as you can see right now in the ad marketing team role the ad marketing team role has some basic capabilities of read upload files and edit files all right so let's first of all start the video by making a function that's going to check out the current user capabilities all right so that is going to be very simple all right so let's start by assigning a function that's going to be called check current user capabilities all right inside that function we're just going to make a new user which is just a variable and then we're going to get the user by the wordpress get current user function all right then we're going to be echoing a pre-tag inside that pre-tag we're going to be echoing also as well the current user role and the current user capabilities all right but we're going to be using something called print r which allows us to print readable text on the screen right and we're going to use the current user variable we just assigned all right we're going to map over it and then we're just going to get the roles all right we got the current user as well and then all caps which stands for all capabilities okay echo and one last thing which we're just going to end in the pre-tap all right oh yeah so let me i just forget to add in the action and the adding in the action which is admin notices all right so admin notices and then the callback function which is check current user capabilities okay so when we go back to our uh, plugin right let's just go to any page in the admin panel as you can see right now it's showing me right now the role which is an administrator and it's also showing me the array of capabilities so we'll just go into a deep dive into wordpress user and capabilities by kinsta.com which is also a hosting for wordpress as well but this is kind of like an advanced wordpress hosting not just like shared hosting all right and if you go into a little bit of deep dive as you can see over here in the wordpress options every username has a username password email and a role all right the wp role class as you can see has a name of role name and capabilities and array the default one for example in the administrator has all of these set to true so as you can see these are all the administrator capabilities that there are accessible to them even something like manage woocommerce still has the capabilities assigned to the admin even when the plugin itself is installed okay i do have the capabilities assigned for the plugin because i already assigned them before to the admin and right now we're just gonna be doing that okay but we need to assign the capabilities themselves in the post type because the post type themselves does not have the capabilities all right so we're just gonna go into register gallery post all right and we're going to be starting registering the capabilities for the post themselves all right there are some optional arguments that i'm using also as well for the plugin these are optional again like i said you do not have to use it for your own plugin but i'm going to use it just for the sake of the tutorial we're going to be using it later on okay so we got first of all just some regular capabilities which we're going to assign as you can see right now i just assigned the description which is just a regular description show and rest stands for show in the rest api so this data can be exposed in the rest api but this is going to be later all right but we can just add the capability for it right now and the slug is rest base okay so the rest base is just the slug for the gallery image itself that's going to be called in the rest api has archive set it to true and show in menu set it to true one of the most important default ones is supports okay so supports is just going to be an array on its own and it's going to take these arguments which is title editor these are just regular strings i apologize not arguments 
thumbnail and then excerpt and afterwards we're just going to add in a regular comma all right right now we're going to be assigning the capability itself so capability type first of all is going to be gallery image and we're also going to be mapping the meta cap so mapping the meta cap which is going to be set to true and what are meta capabilities and primitive capabilities as you can see right now in the deep dive by kinsta which also shows you the role versus capability table all right so if you want to check this out this is basically just the capabilities for each and every user so as you can see the super admin can create sites delete sites manage network all of this because this is the super admin for multi-sites installation this is not a multi-site installation but as you can see the super admin has the most type of capabilities administrator is second then the editor then the author contributor subscriber has the least amount of capabilities so yeah as you can see right now the admin can activate plugins create users delete plugins so on and so forth you can check this table on your own and as you can see capabilities as well are mentioned at the end of this link okay that's why i chose just the kinsta article because it's more organized than what i have already uh, prepared okay you also have special capabilities and you have primitive versus meta capabilities right so as you can see primitive capabilities are granted to particular roles used with users with these roles inherit the primitive capabilities automatically all right meta capabilities are not granted to any role by default wordpress checks for a certain object in its code and database such as post page user or any taxonomy and if the logic checks out it maps a meta capability or one to one or two primitive capabilities so this is the one that we're using which is mapping the meta cap okay and that is pretty much it okay there is also a function that you could use if you want to map the capability to primitive capabilities directly all right okay so right now we're registering it so just make sure to set it to true and afterwards we're just going to use the capabilities and one last thing just to understand this i'm just going to copy this but you need to understand what i'm doing as well all right so capabilities right now as you can see it's starting by edit post and then edit gallery image what i'm doing is basically i am just assigning the default capabilities as you can see the primitive capabilities with a meta capability as you can see over here so edit post is going to be edit gallery image read post is going to be read gallery image and if you want to add in these capabilities to any role we can just use the same syntax okay but we're just gonna be getting the new capability names so we're just gonna copy this so if you want to do the step that i'm gonna be doing right now we can just press alt right your left alt on the keyboard and just highlight this section so we just need to assign a function that's going to be add all and then team capabilities all right inside it we're gonna get a variable that's gonna be roles all right inside it just gonna be an array of strings which is gonna be taking in the name of the roles that we want to loop over right in our case that is gonna be administrator in the second case that is gonna be the marketing team role okay so afterwards we need to assign the for each and assign each role as role name all right and if that role exists all right but we just need to assign the role itself which is going to be get role function and then the role name that we signed over here all right so if the role exists we're just gonna do this and then add capability and then the name of the capability so 
we're just gonna copy this uh let me just count this in the example i have one two three four five six and seven so we can do that by alt shift and then just going downwards so we already have uh, five so six seven all right and uh, the capabilities that we want to add in are basically edit all right and over here we're just going to add in the name of the post itself so as you can see just underscore and then the gallery image all right so we're just going to do the same thing over here but instead of edit we're just going to add in read delete edit uh gallery images not gallery image so as you can see we already assigned this to the gallery image we're going to be doing this to the gallery images because basically we're going to be assigning a caruso gallery all right so we want to be able to access the single posts and the all the gallery images basically all right so edit others gallery images publish gallery images and then one last thing which is read private gallery images okay so as you can see both of them have the same capabilities so just to not be redundant we can assign the capabilities like this so the last thing that we're going to do is just add in the action which is going to be admin in it and then add in all the team capabilities all right and then we're just going to call this function inside the activation hook so the capabilities can be assigned to the user role so as you can see we have the marketing team role and add all team capabilities because we're assigning this to the admin and to the team which is the marketing team okay so we're just going to go and log in as admin and then we're just going to add in a new user so just go into users on the left and then add a new user let's call it marketing team just the email and the first name last name and just make sure the role is marketing team add the new user and just make sure activate and deactivate the plugin because this is the one that's going to assign the roles and the capabilities all right so when we activate it right now we can actually check out the user capabilities and if it's not assigned we can just delete the user and do it one more time so yeah as you can see right now we have access to the panel because we added in the access to the marketing team and this is the caruso that we want to reach to at the end of the video we want to use a short code to display this gallery carousel id all right so stay tuned for the next videos basically we're just going to be going on to validation to how to upload this all right we still haven't talked about this and also how we can display this and also make a carousel short code for the users so stay tuned this was angry video i'll see you guys in the next videos and peace